Hey there, do you want to learn how to use the if function in Microsoft Excel? If yes, then this video is absolutely for you. Do watch it without the fail. In this video, I'm going to talk about the introduction of if function in MS Excel. I will take you through the complete steps in constructing an if formula from scratch. So all this has been done using very simple data, which will be very easy to recreate and understand. So do watch it. Hello everyone, welcome back to this Microsoft Excel tutorial journey with me on my Knowledge Factor YouTube channel. This is session number 113 and we are learning the conditional functions in Microsoft Excel. During this section, we are going to take a look at perhaps one of my favorite function that is built in Microsoft Excel. And this one is called the if function. Now, I'm going to start out by describing this function first. We are going to take a look at the function argument window and we'll see uh, what the different pieces are and how you're going to work with it and really what it does for you, right? And then we will put it into practice and we are going to combine it with a little bit of name range as well. So we can see those name ranges in action. Just sit back and take a look. So first off, the big scenario, I'm still on the if function worksheet, the same one uh, we were working with the name ranges in the last video. You, if you have missed watching the last video, the link is given at the top of this video. Just go ahead and watch that. So now inside of here, we have got this edge, right? Uh, was the goal met? I want to know for each salesperson, right? We got one, two, three, four, and five. James, Dunn, Carrie, Smith, and Brian. So five individuals are here. I want to know whether or not they met the goal. Okay. So take a look at the worksheet here. How are we going to determine that? What's the goal? How do we know if the salesperson has met that goal? Well, here, let's pick up H5. Okay. H5 cell. Was the goal met? and this is for h james okay i want to know if h james total uh, this is the f column here if h james total has met or exceeded the monthly goal the content of cell i2 did h james make it 34000 right and if so, if Ed James met the goal, then if Ed James has just met the goal or exceeded the 34,000, which Ed James has, right? If you see it's 36,000, then yes, Ed James has met the goal. K done. For K done, what is that? F6, 31,475. So F6 did not meet the goal. So no goal there and so on and so on you do it for all the individuals now we only have five records here right five salespeople so it would not be too hard to say yes no no yes yes right but what if you have hundreds and thousands of records i want to be able to create a formula create it once put it inside a cell h5 and get that one nailed down right like for this yes h james has made it set up the condition set up what we are looking for set up the proper responses either yes they have made it or no they didn't right and then i want to copy that formula for all the hundreds of thousands of records that i have and this is what the if does for you take a look so i'm going to click into cell h5 and i'm going to do this for h james first then i'm going to go to my formula tab and inside the function library I'm going to go to my logical and I'm going to go and find if so this is if this will open up the argument window okay so so there is three different parts to the if function three arguments or pieces of information that it needs in order to do its job the first thing is the logical test okay the condition and what is it that uh, we are trying to determine well, in this case, we are looking at Ed James again, right? I want to know if Ed James total has met or exceeded I2. Okay. So for the logical test, I will grab F5. And I want to know if that was greater than or equal to. So I'm just typing those symbols in 
and uh, I'm going to grab I2 all right so that's our condition if f5 is greater than or equal to i2 i can see right here true so now the next thing i want to know is what happens what if it's true then i'm just going to say yes okay bingo you made it right you got the goal but if not then i'll just say no So now you will notice that yes and no. I didn't type this. I said yes or no, but they put quotes around it for both yes and no, right? This means it's a text value. It's a string value. It's an alphanumeric value. And this is literally what I want. I want that literal value, yes or no, depending on the outcome. So logical test, if F5 greater than or equal to I2 stands true, yep. They did it. So they get back a yes, and I can see that result right there as well. It's showing as yes. If not, if f5 is not greater than i2, then it would give me back the no, the false portion of the if statement or the if function. So, like I said, this is one of my favorite ones. I love it so much because it does work for you. You specify the condition and tell what to do based on that condition. And if it is true, do this. If it is false, then do this. And you are done so I'll just hit ok and I have now got my yes so try this one out we are not done with it yet there's more that I want to get into here but nail this one down first right so again to recap go to h5 go to the formula go to logical grab if and you can create your conditions right there right all right Try that out and then we will move into the next step and try to merge this if function with the name ranges as well. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial and as I always say, if you really like this video and enjoying this journey then please do like and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the latest content update on this channel. Alright then, we'll meet up in the next session in case you have any questions, any concerns then do let me know in the comment section of this video. So see you in the next session, till then stay safe, have a great life and take very good care of yourself. Thank you.